Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Do you have a collection of holiday cards that may have you may have accumulated over the last holiday or previous holidays? Um, and you're wondering, hey, I'm a crafter. What can I do with these? Um, so what I decided to do was I separated the backs from the fronts and I thought I would make some um, stash, some, I don't know if you can technically call it mass making, but some stash for next Christmas. And you'd be surprised at how many Christmas-like things you come across throughout the year. I know it sounds strange, but it does pop up. But one of the first place starts is ob obviously gift wrapping, gift bags, holiday cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you very much to everybody who sent cards. Um, they are so appreciated. And I hope you consider this honoring your cards even more by giving them a new breath of life and sending them into the future. Okay, so um, there's some really adorable little um, pictures and um, sentiments that are on these cards, and I would love to capture them so that I can reuse them for next year Christmas. So this is going to be a relaxing video, just kind of me hanging out, fussing with the cards, and just seeing what we can do with them, make with them. Uh, so these are just two of the most adorable gnomes. So I'm just going to, frankly, fussy cut them out. So if you have a pile of holiday cards, Christmas cards, Hanukkah cards, Kwanzaa cards, whatever the cards are, get the cards out and let's have some fun with them. Um, let's let's recycle, reuse, repurpose. Nothing wrong with that. And let's let's pay attention to the scraps as well. Why? Because we're crafters and we can make stuff from it. So. Everything, again, is a craft supply until proven otherwise. So hang on to these little bits of uh, holiday goodness. I know, I know we're a little burnt out and crispy from the holiday goodness, but it's okay because, you know, we're going to start a little stockpile. And that way, next year, we don't have to run around like chickens. Yeah, free in the yard. No, we're going to be just reaching over into our Christmas box slash bag or holiday wherever I say Christmas, just insert holiday, um, box, bag, grocery bag, uh, tote, uh, drawer, whatever you want to put it in, just have a depository of some sort. Totes are great because then you can grab and go. And if you're crafting on the fly, if you're going places and crafting, you can just take um, your stuff with you and you can just create, which is kind of fun. And the nice thing about cards is that they're on cardstock, so they're a little bit thicker. They're very easily uh, turned into pockets and tucks and, you know, um, belly bands and, and, and focal points for covers. Look, it's so cute, and it's so cute, it's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna put you over there. You're like in the Denzies. Here's the scrap pile. Okay, maybe I should back up a little bit. Okay, scrap pile, Denzies. What's this? Oh, we have a nice sentiment here. Maybe I'm going to get a fancy scissor. I wonder if it'll go through. I have no idea. I'll try and um, give this pretty edging. Oh, I am like the worst fussy cutter on the planet, so you can't butcher this more than I do. So don't be worried about that. Okay, just go forth and cut with your fussiness and um, uh, try different scissors, maybe. Try tearing. Right, whatever speaks to you in the moment. Okay, putting that over with the, can you see that? Yep, that's the scrap pile. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, did you <laughs> notice how clean the desk is? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I did a, a preliminary excavation and I found my craft desk. It was under all my um, previous project scraps and things like that. Imagine that, imagine that, right? So, okay, yeah, there is a little bit over there, but you know, I do the best I can. Okay, I'm gonna put sentiments just in a different section because those could be used randomly throughout any Christmas journal or Christmas cards, things like that. This is cool, it looks like somebody made this. This is really neat. Um, and I'm thinking, what you know, this would be so much fun to turn into um, Christmas tags. Or holiday tags. Um, I think I want to do that. I'm like getting the urge to do that. Let's just do that. So I'm going to uh, get a ruler 
Oh, I know it's a stretch because I have to stretch to get it. Here we go. Getting the ruler, getting the ruler. I got it. I bought a bunch of rulers because I couldn't find my rulers. And uh, I even replaced the Westcott cork backed metal ruler because I couldn't, I couldn't find it. And now of course I know it's going to show up somewhere and that's okay. So this is that long. So middle is about here. That's a good spot as any, you know, yeah. who's, who's, who, you know, it looks fine to me. I really do find the craft mat itself so handy using a craft knife here to cut this. You could just cut these with scissors, but I don't know. I think it's kind of fun to cut them with a craft knife. It doesn't have to be exact, but it would be square would be helpful. So it doesn't matter if this one's a little bigger than that one. Maybe just go by the design, what feels good to you in the moment. And just know that these will be turned into uh, adorable little Christmas tags, right? Right? We don't need to buy all that stuff again. No, this stuff is already beautifully created for us. And we're just going to reuse, repurpose, reinvent, um, and feel darn good about it. Okay, I think... Oh, that's okay. We'll have a big one and a smaller one. That's all right. Because get, get, uh, gifts come in different sizes. And um, sometimes you'd prefer a bigger tag and other times a smaller tag. So I'm just going to leave that like that. That's what I'm going to do. That's what happened. I don't even know if I'm going to use these as tags. Only. They might turn into pockets. They might they might turn into um, tucks. I don't know. But we're going to put that in the Dunsey pile. Okay, so this one. Um, oh, isn't that cute? That is so cute. All right. So I think I'm going to take the word peace off and use it as a separate entity somewhere in a journal, maybe as a bookmark or something like that. That might be fun. We'll fuss around a little bit with these after, possibly. Um, that's where I hung it up. There's a little tiny hole there because I, I hung it up. Um, I don't have a fireplace, but I have a staircase and I Put my cards going up the staircase and you know i don't know people don't really give cards that much as they used to it kind of went with the way of handwriting and um i miss cards i miss cards um i miss handwritten letters um so thank you to those of you who take the time to do this still and i know it's not it's not cheap it's expensive these days stamps are expensive uh supplies are expensive but when we can reuse and re purpose we are just way ahead of the game okay i have no idea what i'm doing here i'm just going to cut this off because things cute i think that would make these would make adorable bookmarks um in future journals um i don't know just thinking but even we could put peace on earth together and do something with that i don't know it's all in the idea factory right now but this is going into the store for next year's holiday zone I like this a lot. This could also be used for um, gift tags. Uh, all right, let's see what we're going to do with this. Maybe we'll do, oh, that's nice. That would be a very large gift tag. How about this? Side? Oh, good. So it's kind of like his antlers go up to where their feet are. Figures, right? Okay, so let's just not worry about where the cut actually is. Let's just do it where we would like it to be. Okay, so we're just making it easy on ourselves. We're not stressing. No, the holiday hoopla is now all behind us and we are just relaxing in to the newness and freshness of the new year um i went around and gave my home a nice scrub a dub dub just to kind of collect all the holiday clutter and all of that and uh bring myself into the new year sunny is all trimmed up and he's ready for the new year too he's very excited to see here find out where his career is going I'm just going to leave that like that because that just, just works. Okay, what do we have here? Actually, let me do one of these. Okay, so some of these were on the insides of the card. So what I did was I, I cut off the part where um, uh, the very kind people uh, hand wrote messages to me, and I took the sentiment, and I saved those. And I took these. I could actually put those in a journal. That would be really cool, like my own personal journal of touchstones as, as life goes by. That's, that's always nice. And uh, sometimes you just, you know, want to have a, something to look at to help you feel good. That would make me feel very good. So I think I might do that. Um, so these are the right-hand side of the cards where there were um, sentiments, poems, little wishes, things like that. So I think I'm just going to retract my craft knife, as a good crafter should, and um, 
I think I'm going to separate these into maybe, maybe two different little things I could glue onto a journal page at one time. So this one, go here. So yeah, you don't have to go out and buy all that Christmas uh, fancy foo foo stuff. You got it. You or, you know holiday stuff. You got it. It's there. It's it's um, with all the stuff that is roaming around your house. You've got packaging. You got old uh, cards. Sentiment. Your sentiment. You need to go in the sentiment pile. I don't think I didn't catch you. I think I'm going to maybe try a different type of fancy pantsy. Oh, I paid 75 cents for these. That's right. Fancy pantsy uh, decorative scissors. This is a great time of year to go to your thrift stores because people are starting to get rid of stuff. Or next year, they're all in the let's clean up mode. I mean, um, the stores go into organizational mode where they're going to send you, send you. They're going to um, sell you containers. Stores like the container store and stuff like that are going to be all really popular right now because everybody's trying to get out with the old and in with the new. See, that's it. There we go. There's a nice little sentiment. And you are a nice little scrap. We'll put you over here in the scrap pile. And um, that's a very nice little question. Oh, we'll do you the same way. I like that. Um, we'll do a square. Um, I had an idea with this leftover white space cardstock. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. See for fun what happens. Okay. But, um, yeah, so getting organized. I know, I know. Am I going to actually organize my stuff this year? If I let two years go by, disaster will ensue. I need to do something about it. So we may have to do a little organization. It's an Irish blessing for your cottage at Christmas time. Isn't that beautiful? Now, this one, um, it does have some Christmas tree, Christmas wreath. Uh, but I think, oh, and there's a pretty little... Uh, um, a quote from the Bible, and maybe if I'm very dexterous, I'm not sure if I'm that dexterous. I might be that dexterous. I might be able to get that separated from the house and have a sentiment and a pretty picture to use. I'll have to keep it pretty close, pretty close to these words. Let's see how it all pans out. We don't know until we, we cut it, but here we go. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, I, I can't possibly eat any more cookies. It just cannot happen. All right. There we snag that. Oh, well, we got a little bit of chimney there. Let's see how it went. We got this one too, so I, I have choices. Could use that one. Could use this one. Put that in the words one. So it's always nice to have a few words and sentiments and things like that. That's very pretty. I don't know. I think I might just leave that like that and figure out what to do with it later. That's just a pretty picture. We'll just leave you as is. Um, oh, here is a lovely, lovely card that somebody handmade, and I am so appreciative of that with these. I love the way they put glued the sequins on there. Isn't that cool? Great idea. It has um, dimension, this card. Isn't that very pretty? Um, I am ever so appreciative. I hope you're okay with me cutting it up because I'm now going to cut it up. But I, I hope you feel the joy of me recycling and repurposing and all that grandeur because that's what's happening here. I think it's the kind of thing we all have to deal with at some point that if you're going to give a gift or give a card, you release your um, control or desires over that piece and you just hope the person enjoys it and does wonderful things with it afterwards. How about that? So this is an example of that. I think maybe I will separate this from that and use that as, oh, did it go through? My little, my little my knifey thing is getting dull. My little knifey thing. All right, I'll try it one more time. It was user error. That's always possible around here. Okay, there we're through. Okay, so now we have this little pretty, we could use that on the side of a page, make a couple book ta um, page tabs out of it. This is just adorable cuteness. Um, I think... I'm going to trim it up a little bit. It would really make a cute, I'm just going to cut it up. Um, it would make a really cute um, gift tag. I just really like that. I like this guy in here. I'm, I'm going for him. 
going in, going deep. He's just too cute to lose. Got to come. Come with me into the future, into 2024. We'll go places. We'll do things. We'll craft. Um, crafting is a nice peace of mind experience, mostly, I would say. Um, it's, a good, it's a good way to relax your brain, unwind. I like you very much. You're very cute. I'm, I'm just, I'm admiring you as we speak. Mention blank back. Easy to use for cards. Okay, so we have our garbage. Our garbage. We don't have garbage in Craft World. We have scraps. Right, I know. Okay, this is so cute. This is so cute. This is beautiful. This is just lovely. Now, what will we do to you? Quite large. You may be a little bit big on your own. I think you're a little hefty guy. Oh, you're not. No, you're not as big as I thought. You're seven and a half by five and a half. You technically would fit in a journal. But I think I'm going to fussy cut you. I am. I'm coming in. And I'm going to, I'm going to use you as a side pocket or a tuck or something like that because I think you'll be perfect for that with your cute little shape. And, uh, oh, it's so cute. I don't know if we need all this red on the bottom. Maybe we will. We'll sacrifice a little bit of the red so it will easily fit into a journal. Um, okay, good little guy. Um, all right, here we go. Yep, you can see. Okay, so I'm just going to trim off a little bit of this redness. And then again, we will save that. I'm going to either put all this stuff in the scraps or um, create something else with it. Uh, oh, Christmas is here. We want to finish this. Yes, let's go around. This is a very nice sentiment. And so these are also usable, and you can you can do so many things with them. Um, you know, obviously put them in junk journals, put them on the new Christmas cards that you're making for next year. Maybe you're going to start now and make up a few Christmas cards. That would be fun. There we go. There we go. We have our sentiments. Um, and this is a, a part of card. Somebody wrote me um, a beautiful gave me a, a beautiful happy mail and uh, this card was just so lovely i wanted to keep it i'm so pretty i don't even know if i want to cut it up i don't think i am i'm just going to put it in the dunsey pile technically not christmas it will go in a different world uh this is a beautiful postcard somebody sent to me and i just love it and um, it is written on the back so i may save this one so i'm gonna put you over there um but i, I might use you too because you're really pretty I'm going to put you in the Christmas potential pile. And this is going to go in greeting card potential pile of other things to be made with stuff like that. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it here because we have these pieces of white cardstock. And I don't really know. I just had this crazy idea. We're going to try it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take white cardstock from old greeting cards maybe just put some pretty borders on it for the heck of it because it's here and then i want to rough it up a little bit with some sand paper or a sanding block yes yes our old friend sanding block to give it some tooth why you ask why is she doing that i want to there. Oh, it has like a suede-like feel now. Just a little bit. Want to see how that would react with watercolor. Hold on. Okay, this is going to be the world's worst watercolor experiment, but we're going to give it a go. I grabbed one universal style brush. It's a Princeton, it's like 12, 12 snap round brush. Mm -hmm. And uh, now that I'm trying to turn this into watercolor, but let me go closer so you can see. Watercolor paper. Okay, it's not watercolor paper. I know that, but not everybody has watercolor paper. But I thought if you have greeting card white stock, you kind of have watercolor paper. Um, I'm trying to make it and see what happens. Okay, so let's see what happens. Wet my brush. Uh, these are some just random, oops, can't see that. 
random Jane Davenport um, watercolors that I grabbed just because it's a little case. I thought that might be fun. One, two. Dab, I don't want it to be soaking. Um, maybe I do. Um, I'm just going to do a, a tall flower. Let me do my stem first. There's some green. Go with that. Okay. All right. All right. This has a nice point on it, so you can kind of do very fine tip work. So I should have probably done the flower first. What was I thinking? That's all right. Just go with it. All right. And I just do some random leafy things. Okay. All right. And there's a little head for the the flower holder. Oh, you can't see that. That was great. Okay, there we go. Let's go in. There we go. So now I'm going to rinse this off. I know I'm going to cross pollinate my colors by using one water. You're really supposed to use two, one clean, one dirty. Okay, well, I'm going to, I'm just going to daub it on this, see if I can get most of it off it. It's pretty good, right? Not yet. Oh, it's green water now. What, what, do, you, what do you expect? Okay, but, but let's try and Maybe go into a pink. Just do a pink for fun. Okay, that's good. All right, now let's get it really, really super wet. I want to do like super wet. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. These are just little dots. They're not really bleeding or doing anything like they would on watercolor paper, but. I'm just going to do this little very simple dot design because sometimes you work with what you got because things don't always go as planned. So maybe I didn't create watercolor paper, but that doesn't mean I can't because the watercolor paper, it would bloom a little bit more. Um, I'm just going to fill it in. Little random dotties. Uh -huh. A little bit more in the random daddy section. All right. Oh, random dotties. Oh, there's a little connection. Made a connection between two dotties. What will that mean? Nobody knows. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, making it like a little area or something. This little flower will have petals of wonder going off into the oblivion. Okay, I did not. Okay, it's kind of like a um, dandelion, foofy sort of thing that will blow away in the wind. Can we roll with that? I think so, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so. Um, all right, it's not watercolor paper, but I think it's going to dry nicely on here. I'm going to leave that as is. I'm going to back up so you can see what on earth I'm doing again. Clean my brush. I have a brown. Is that brown? I think because I had pink on the brush. Oh, goodness. But no, maybe it is a pink. I think it is a pink. It's like a red or something. Well, that's not going to work. Um, there is apparently no brown in my watercolor palette, so I will not use brown. Maybe I, I will use. What will I use? What color are you? Oh, you're purple. You're definitely purple. Well, we are coming into spring. Well, let's see. Maybe I'll mix you. A little purple. So that's what you, can, you can use this as a, um, a palette. A little purple there. Maybe a little blue. Make up like an indigo. That's kind of neat. A little more purple. Here's we cross pollinating everything together. Oh, that's kind of neat. Um, let's just try that. All right, I'm going to now attempt not to squash my, squash my design because it's still drying. Uh, but I just want to maybe do a little bit on the edges, edging, giving it a frame with the juiciness of this almost black. You know, blue and purple can make a blackish like color. I have no idea what's going to happen. We're just rolling with it. I, as you can see, I am getting. Um, color on my hands 
So I'm just going to, oh, okay, we're going to go for a splatter design because apparently that is what's happening here. Oh, it's going to get a little tricky. It is going to get a little tricky. Um, here we go. We put it down soon. And maybe we will splatter it just to see what happens. We'll just take it a little further as we're goofing off with our greeting card, white blank space, resource of craft material. Okay, just drop it down. Okay. <clears throat> Going back in close. Maybe a little too close. We'll back up a little bit. Okay, there. Okay, let's focus. Where are you going? Where are you going? I just bought you. You shouldn't be migrating anywhere. Are you mic? Oh, okay. So I have a lot of juice on here. Should I flick, 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 or should I do it with pink or green? I don't know. I'll just do it with you guys. Just... Ah, lots of uh, blue went in there. Yeah, look at that. Okay. All right, I'm going to town now. Look at that. Okay, I think that's kind of cool. Um, maybe we'll do one more flicker on uh, with a different color just for fun. Maybe with, see the contrasting color. It's kind of cool, yes. Um, maybe with pink. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking maybe pink it up a little bit more, huh? Just a little bit of uh, contrast color. Yep. Up, 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 oh, 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 there goes the flower. It's barely there. You can see it now. Still there to some degree. So we can pull it out a little bit more. I'm gonna I'm just using the pink. So I'm gonna back in the pink. More daubs. This flower is taking on a life of its own. It may have looked more innocent back in its earlier days. I need to see you in there, flower, so I know you're a flower. All right, we'll just fill it in a little bit. Okay, it totally looks different now, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All right. You, you just kind of keep going and, until you think you're done. Am I done? No, I, I need one more thing. I can see exactly what it is, and then I will release you all back to the universe to go have some fun with your paint. Unless you're painting right along with me just for the heck of it. Um, okay. Move this, not that. I'm going to try for that. I'm going to put this yellow down here. I think it needs a little yellow in the center. Can't see the yellow. But there we go. Oh, there it is. Do, 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 do. Oh, the yellow green of it all. Okay. It's best to actually let that dry and then come on along and do this. But I'm not. I'm just actually going to put yellow dots edges here of these. Oh, one one got sucked into that leaf petal. And there we go. Just having fun. Um, okay. So it's not the most amazing thing in the world, but I have to admit it was fun. And that's really the ultimate goal. I'm just going to put some weird color in it. That looks kind of cool, actually. It's getting better than it was. It has hope. Kind of cool, huh? All right, we're going to leave it as is and not go too far because it's very easy to go too far with this. I think I may have wandered into the land of too far, but it's going to find a happy home in somebody's journal, I promise. Okay. Um, Sunshine, would you like to have a few words to say? Okay, somebody is here and he would like to do a pop date. Well, <clears throat> happy new year, everybody. It's uh, Mom, I'm a little close. Can you please? Okay. Happy new year, everybody. It's Sunshine, uh, canine reporter here. Um, we seem to have a little bit of concern in the watercolor department. Mom, are you a little out of practice? You haven't been doing it in a while, and we can obviously see there's more to be done. I think it's kind of cute. You don't think it's cute? Okay, we're going to go watch some videos on how to watercolor can, and we'll be back. Um, but until then, I would like to report, with my very small paws, that it's cold in the house in Florida with my short hair. Now. Mother is taking extra precautions to keep sunshine warm. She has the heat on. She has snuggly blankets for sunshine. She has sweaters. Now, I really like the sweaters, but no, okay, like I don't like to wear the sweaters because I freeze 
I am not cold freeze. Like I don't move. Like if you put a sweater on sunshine, he becomes paralyzed and does not move from where he put the sweater on. So what on earth was that? What did you get into? Um, okay. That was my morning snack. Everybody just pretend you never saw that. Um, so anyway, we're doing our best to keep sunshine warm and, um, um, yep. That's all I got today. Happy crafting. Sunshine out. <laughs> that was all right. Back to your journalism studying. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, okay. There you go, sunshine. Down on the floor. Back in your little world. Okay. So fun little foray back into painting. Yeah, I'm rusty. Um, getting a hold of the mess that is on the desk. Okay. So basically to wrap it up, these scraps will go into the scrap bucket. Maybe I'll make a Christmas scrap bucket so I'll have stuff to use for Christmas uh, things. So I've got that. I'll put that over there. That's a dunsey. Um, or I'll just put it in the regular scrap bucket, and that's okay too. I say bucket. It's really a box. It is a box, and it is behind me, and these are now going in the scrap box. So there you go, folks. I just hope you had some good old kickback fun. Nothing too serious going on here today, let me tell you. We're just playing and goofing around. Oh, look at that. I splattered all over my Christmas stuff. But it actually made a nice little design. Yeah. Okay. There you go. That happens, right? Yep. Um, oh, I, I need to clean my desk. Okay. That's a good start, Pam. Clean the desk. Here's a baby wipe where you get this purple paint all over everybody and everything. We have these beautiful pieces from the cards. So thank you very much, everybody. And just know that your cards will be turned into very fun items for future Christmas and holiday events. Um, so if you don't know, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. If you sign up for that, the link is down below. Um, you can get a, um, oh, oop, 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 in case you haven't seen it. The top one is the free emailed newsletter. You get a free digital image emailed to you monthly, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, and a list of page ideas on how to break a blank page, and also um, uh, junk journal tips from me and updates from the paper outpost. So um, I, uh, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. My podcast, uh, which is audio material, new audio material comes out Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can watch video podcasts any day of the week on Spotify. I have an Etsy shop where I have uh, fundals and kits and uh, journals and bundles. Um, bundles are collections of old and interesting papers. Um, there's a hundred plus pieces in a fundle and uh, they're great for, um, they're, it's a package of ephemera, interesting antique ledger, book pick pages, checks, receipts, postcards, black and white photos, tea cards, all sorts of fun, interesting papers you can use in your junk journals. It comes with free priority shipping. Um, I also sell printables, which are um, uh, printable downloads um uh, different themes there's over 250 themes now uh they come without the word paper outpost on there when you when you purchase them and they're in my etsy shop there's five pages each to each theme all different kinds of images um ranging from birds victorian um celestial dragonflies butterflies all sorts of fun themes um if it, you don't have the ability to print or you don't like to print or you just want me to print for you i will print them out for you all I need you to do is buy the print and mail option and then um, give me a list of the 10 DigiKit names that you want and that will get you 50 printed pages of DigiKits, um, a nice lightweight cardstock. And that also comes with free priority mail shipping. I have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies, please check that out there. I have um, a merchandise shop. If you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven. Otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip hoodie, mug tote or water bottle. And um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. And most of all, remember that fun can be simple, like just cutting up your old greeting cards. And um, uh, remember uh, to create with Reckless Abandon, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.